I'm Marley, and today I'm going to prank my mom. She's out on errands right now, but when she gets back, she's going to find our new foreign exchange student ready to move in with us. Let's see how it goes. Let's get our prank on. Here she is. She's pulling up. There's your mom. What do you think's going to happen, you guys? I, don't I think, know. I think. I, I think hope, you're going to get in trouble. Yeah. You're busted. I'm busted. For life. I just hope she doesn't Just quit. two weeks in my life. Goodbye. Hi, are you Margina? Yeah. Hi, Margina. My name is Rich Finley. I'm so glad. I've been trying to get a hold of Kevin on the phone. Is he around? No, I just talked to him. He said he stepped out for a minute. Okay, I left him a voicemail, so he'll probably get right back to me. But anyway, so this is Howard. Hi. And uh, I have his stuff here. So here's his medication. What do you mean his medication? Oh. It's for you. Well, your husband uh, agreed to have Howard stay with you guys for a little while for a foreign exchange program. I have no clue what's going okay. on here. Okay. Okay. What'd you say your name was again? Uh, my name is Rich Finley. Rich? Mm -hmm. What was your name? Howard. Howard. So it's a foreign exchange program, lasts about three months. And then Marlon, uh, your son Marlon, has the opportunity to go to China himself for three months. I didn't so. agree about anything like that, sending my son to China. Well, I mean, I have paperwork from Kevin. Well, Howard, okay. He's just doing that to be nice. Sorry. <laughs> I'm standing on our porch and a guy named Rich says that you have orchestrated something about a foreign exchange student or something like that. Go, go, go. Good luck. Yeah. Get her good. But you signed it. You signed it and I don't have any clues to what's going on. That's how they are. Ooh, are you, are you Marlon? Oh, come here. You guys, uh-uh, you know my son? Well, I mean, Marlon was the one that brought this to us. So, hi Marlon, and this is Howard. Howard, hi. Marlon, what, what hi, is Marlon. all of this? How are you? You brought a paper home? What, yeah. did I miss this or what? I, get, I gave it right to dad and then um, he said he was gonna Why sign it. Why did you bring it to me so that I could have read it to Marlon? My husband needs to talk to you. Mr. Stafford? So we brought Howard here and I have all of his medications and there's a lot of stuff on here that you guys need to be aware of. He's allergic to cats, dogs, cows, which is really weird. Um, but, but, but your wife China. is a China? little confused China. the process. So I could long? call the embassy uh, if there's been a mistake. Um, English, not my- You don't speak English? Not, not my, my, my first language. Okay. Marlon. Yes. You didn't tell me that your school is having a problem okay. like this. Well, we'll I don't get it. Why okay, we'll see me? you in a bit. Um, oh. He said that there was probably a misunderstanding, so I can call the embassy real quick. Can you do me a favor? Can you can you hold on to Howard's medication? Yeah. But don't take any of it. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna make a quick phone call. Okay. Hello, Marlon. Nice to meet you. Howard. Howard. Um. I don't understand what you're saying. Speak English. Yes. Marlon, right. Marlon, come on. He he can't he can't help All it. Right. It's okay. <laughs> okay. So apparently your husband misunderstood the papers that he filled out or what you guys signed up for. I totally understand that. I don't want to put you in a bad spot. Yes. So, oh, is this your husband here? Yeah. Okay. So you had something for you. you. And then we have. Mommy, look! Have I got nunchucks. Yeah, that's probably Give dangerous. Um, no, okay, uh, I think we can. Birthday. I think we can work it out. Hi, are you Kevin? Yes, I am. Hi, Kevin. Thank Rich you. Finley. Nice to meet you. Hi. Hi. And um, um, how, how nice to meet you. Hello. Okay, so Hello. I was just on the phone with the embassy trying to work all this out. Is that your signature right there? Yes. I guess Marlon brought this home and had you sign this. Right. Uh, this was to house Howard for three months here. But shouldn't you guys and you call didn't me? Agree? I, I, how come you guys didn't call and talk to me? Or well, this was the only contact person that Marlon put down. Sometimes these things happen. So what I've done is I talked to the embassy, and they said that they can probably figure out another place for Howard to go. Get but shirt. yeah. Oh my. But the embassy just wanted me to find out: is there any way that maybe in the meantime, just for like a day or two, until we get all this sorted out, could Howard be with you guys for a day or two, you sir? Need to spend the night. For a day or two? I know it's inconvenient. I mean, it's the only thing that we can think of right now, unless unless you have anything to say. I do. Mom, it's okay. I got an idea. 
We were on this TV show called I Prank My what Parents. What are you talking about? What are you talking about, Marlon? Look at the cameras. Well, there's a there's a <laughs> camera right there. <laughs> <laughs> so, do not give her the nunchucks, Marlon. I'm a little afraid at this point. <laughs> Oh, it's okay, it's okay, it's fine. I don't understand. I, for him to get that by me, that doesn't work. Nothing gets by me. I came up and I was just like, who are these people? There is a white man and a Chinese man, yeah, and I, I have neither one of those. I think payback is coming for so, all of them, so for if, all of them. So if we ask you to run more errands, what are you going to do? I'll run my errands. Mm. I'll run my errands, but I'll be back, and I'll be looking around. Now I'll be checking for cameras. Look closely, too. <laughs>